Helen Krishnick, I brought her into this. I was right. the one who said we need to start. She was an assistant over at uh, ICM. Mm -hmm. I was briefly with ICM. She, ICM did not want to cover our show. So she came over as an assistant and she said, you guys, there's a guy, Jimmy Walker on this Good Times thing. Maybe we should start paying attention to him. So her husband was my lawyer. Right. So I said, I know a lot of good guys. Maybe we should start a management company. So we signed Jay Leno, Lane Boothler, Shirley Hemphill. We signed Frankenstein, the monster comedy writing team, Frank Dungan and Jeff Stein, who went on to produce uh, Barney Miller and uh, uh, Mr. Belvedere. We signed uh, Ash and Curtis, who went on to do Shelley Duvall's Fairy Tale Theaters. We had a ton of people. David Letterman. David Letterman, who eventually left, and I, I, I let him out because I, mm -hmm. I promised him that. And they were so, I, I can't put into words how horrible they were. I mean, they would, uh, uh, Helen got some power because of Jay. And she, and she would have had power with, with, with David Letterman. But I told him, if Rawls and Joffe and those guys want to sign you, you know, Bernie Brillstein, those cats, go, get the hell out. And he left. And we had a ton of people over there, all people that I brought in. All, they, they, didn't, they didn't ever go to a club. I saw all these people. And then eventually through hook or crook, they got control of the management corporation, which right. was a brutal situation, which I started, okay? And uh, Helen did some stuff. It was interesting what she did. Carson was the main guy, obviously. Right. She wanted, because Leno, here's the real story. And all these other this people. This is what I want, the real story. Here's what <laughs> really happened. Leno and Letterman were best friends. Leno, right. Letterman believed in Leno tremendously. Let, Letterman did a show, him and Meryl Markle, anyway, his girlfriend. Meryl Markle did a show, and he got a, he got a deal with CBS. So he did a daytime show. They, he was on every show that CBS had, pushing it. That's when they came up because Ash and Curtis, who were with me, who went with him on the show, came up with the uh, top 10 list. Right. Meryl Markle and Ash and Curtis came up with that. They did the daytime show and they worked their asses off. It was 16 hours a day. They did everything. Show failed. Everybody was kind of like, yo, wow. Ooh. David came over to my house. He said, my life is over. We have worked on this show so hard. We put so much effort into this, and we're not going to get there. And I don't see any way for me to continue. Nobody's going to want to hire me, whatever. I said, David, you're too good not to be hired. You will be back on the show again. You'll be fabulous. He left. I called Jay Leno. I said, David Letterman is done. I said, he has worked their asses off. CBS has put a lot of money into this. This will never happen. So anyway, David did get a show on NBC. Mm -hmm. He was such close friends with Leno. Leno was a road comic in those days. He said, Jay, I want you on my show every week, every time you can get away. So if Jay was doing a gig, say, in Roanoke, Virginia, he would fly Jay to, uh, at that time, GE, fly him to Roanoke, right. then fly him the next two days to New York to do his show as the, what's my beef or the angry guy, whatever right. the thing was. And they had an uh, amazing rapport on the air. Right. They were great together. So he would fly him back and forth. Right. Jay could not do The Tonight Show, okay? Not to say he wasn't funny. Johnny just didn't like him, whatever the story was. So he did not do the Tonight Show. He was pissed. He'll lie now and say, yeah, I wasn't ready. He's full of shit. He would bitch about it every day. Every day I heard about this. And he would have his green suit on, you know, whatever. You know, when he finally did the show. And he did fine. But Carson just didn't like him. So, okay. We've smash cut to Joni Rivers. Joni Rivers is doing the Monday nights fill-in for Carson. Killing, doing great. Permanent guest host. Permanent yep. guest host is the official name. 
Chris Albrecht and those guys take over at Fox. They say, we, we can't win, but we need a presence in late night. They said, well, we got to get a host. So going to be the host. They said, well, Joni Rivers is the host. You know, we can use her. They go to Joni and Edgar, and they say, we want you to be the host. She says, oh, boy, I better go to Carson and ask him. She goes to Carson. Can't get a hold of Carson. Nobody ever talks to Carson. Doesn't work that way. Right. No one. It's like when you when you try to talk to Carson, it's like, well, there's a guy who knows the driver of Carson hmm. that has a friend that knows him, <laughs> that knows another girl that used to go out with Carson. That's a bartender at a place that he used to know. Maybe we can get through him through that way. Pass him a note. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, wow, okay. So they get Carson, finally, and they say, Joni's had us a chance to do this show for Fox. She wants to know if she has your approval. And Johnny says, do what you think is right. That's... <laughs> so, so Edgar says, we're doing the show. He, she gets white ball. Notice I didn't say black. Right. She gets white ball <laughs> completely because of something happened with Edgar. I don't know what it was, but they didn't like him. I don't know what it was. I have no idea. They said, we got to get a new replacement for the, for the thing. Now I was in on this. I knew about this. They said, we got to get Gary Shandling. That's the guy we love. He had, it's the Gary Shandling show at the time. They said, we got to get Gary Shandling. Gary Shandling had, it's the Gary Shandling show. They wanted to do, it's the Gary Shandling movie. They went to Paramount, Bernie Brillstein and those guys, and they said, we have a chance to do the uh, Tonight Show. And if we don't get It's the, it's the Gary Shandling movie, we're going to Tonight Show. So they gave him the money to do It's the Gary Shandling movie. Mm -hmm. It never happened. Right. So they said, we got to go someplace else, get somebody else. So the next person, and people don't realize this, now he's a big star now, Pat Sajak. Wow. Pat Sajak was uh, uh, the weatherman, O and O out here. Uh, you know, nice looking guy, blonde, whatever, Nebraska. Hey, remind you of anything? <laughs> guy from Nebraska, kind of a comedian. Hello. So they said, all right. So Pat Sajak says, well, you know, I'm a comedian. They said, yeah, yeah, we got that. He says, I want to do my own show. So he went to CBS right. and said, I got a chance to host to, you know, be the guy on the Monday nights. If you give me a show, I won't do that show. He got the show. David Letterman jumps in and says, hey, how about Jay Leno? Johnny Carson said, absolutely, positively out of the question. He stinks. I hate him. I don't like his looks. Get the hell out of here. So they're futzing around, trying to get a host. They're bringing in people. David Letterman flies out to the left coast because he's not a left coast guy. Flies out to the coast goes to the mansion at the beach, kisses the ring, says, please, give Jay Leno a shot. They brought Jay Leno on. Jay's a great comic. Jay's very good. Very, very good. He did very well. They were mulling it over. David Letterman flies out again and says, you saw what he can do. Please give him a shot. He gets the show. Helen's managing Jay at the time. Jay is euphoric because you'll hear Jay say this all the time. It's the best job in the world. Do joke, get money, get check, this and that. So he had been doing uh, Letterman three times a month, flying back. So Dave calls Jay and says, hey man, congratulations. I'm glad you got that spot. He says, you should fly out and announce it on our show that you're going to be the host the next Monday. So they say, okay. Helen says, fuck David Letterman. We're bigger than him. We don't need that shit. You don't fly out and do anything. If anything, he's lucky that we'll even do a hookup to let him be on your show. Now, here's where the kick ass comes. The Today Show on Friday of that Monday, they fly Jay Leno out to 30 Rock to announce that he's doing the show. He's in the same building as David Letterman. David is not pissed. He's hurt. Mm. Comes back, he does the show, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, as we go on, 
Helen, and this is one of these strange things, says, Jay, you should be the host full time. Carson's reign is over. That's not a thing at that time you say out loud because Carson had that kind of power. It's the king. Helen starts planting stories in the LA Times. Arsenio is beating, Leno, uh, uh, beating Carson. Leno, and I was a part of this, starts booking music because Johnny didn't believe in music. He believed, not to say they didn't, he believed in Pete Fountain, he believed in Joe Williams, he believed in Tony Bennett. Right. People were telling him, you know, Johnny, I know you believe in these, these guys. They're very good. There's no doubt about it. You know, Pete Fountain's great. Buddy Rich is a fabulous. This guy's great. But there's a guy named Prince out here right now, and he's only selling like maybe 75 million albums. Maybe, maybe we should bring this guy on <laughs> and let him do his thing. They went, no, fuck him. So... Jay started booking them. Arsenio started booking them. The demos went younger. They got all those people, the Kenny Chesneys, these kind of guys. They got Madonna. They got all these people. And Johnny says, fuck that. I got Pete Fountain, asshole. You go, yeah, you know, all right. So Helen started planting these stories in the LA Times. Johnny says, who the fuck is saying this? And everybody was like, Johnny, please. You know, not me. And planting those stories is like going to, in 1938, to a Hitler speech. And going, who the fuck is this Hitler guy? He sucks. And the next day you go, what happened to Rick? I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> you know, and it's that kind of stuff like that. And she planted all those stories. She put all that stuff. So now, eventually, through hook or crook, they get in. Right. He got he felt pushed out. By those he he was pushed out. He was right. pushed out. Right. He was pushed out by those stories of younger, younger, younger. So now, here we are. Johnny Carson's out. Jay Leno's in. Helen comes in, and she just is a horror. Just everyone hates her. And was she that way when you knew her? I will say this. Or did she get worse over time? You know, they did the thing with Kathy Bates. Yeah, the, the late shift. The late movie, shift. Yeah. That Kathy Bates, the way they played that, that was mild <laughs> <laughs> compared to what Helen was. Wow. And my line has always been, and you can use it if you want, I said, you know, unfortunately, you know, Helen had breast cancer and they had to give her a mastectomy. It was all right because she still had her dick. <laughs> <laughs> she was rough. Very, very rough. And the key to the whole thing is she became so rough, the network wanted to fire her, okay? And she said, all right, you can fire me, but I'm taking Jay Leno with me. And Jay says, not so fast. Because <laughs> Jay loved that job. Right. I mean, it's a great job. And he was there for 22 years or whatever the hell he did there. And that's when things started turning terrible. And that's when him and Dave started having fights and the whole deal like that. But Dave loved, and it's the only guy that Dave doesn't like now. And, and, and for Dave not to like you, you really got to go a long way because he's either indifferent or doesn't care. 